Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. So the fifth installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise follows Johnny Depp playing Jack Sparrow again as he discovers that there are a group of dead people that escaped the certain triangle in the sea that sort of kept them preserved. They escaped it and they are going out to try to kill every single pirate at sea. And in order to try to stop this, Captain Jack Sparrow embarks on a ship with a young man and a young woman that he meets and some of his old crew members to go off while trying to get to a certain place which will give them an opportunity to kill the army of dead people. These films don't really have strong plots, they're really just there to make a cool looking world, to make something look interesting, visually stunning, to have some cool action, to have some interesting acting, and for the most part, that's what Pirates of the Caribbean, that's what the entire franchise has been. The entire franchise is just fun movies. The first one is definitely far better than the others because you had some great direction, a lot of great sets, a lot of great colors. As they went on, they went lower and lower in quality, but they're still quite entertaining. The fourth one I would definitely say is the weakest because that one was just honestly kind of got boring at times, but I went into this one sort of expecting that I would have a fun time. It's the last one, so I thought that they would probably go full balls to the walls with things, and unfortunately this film was an extreme disappointment. I mean, I went in with expectations that were like, oh, this could be okay, and I came out with a terrible movie. For the first part of the movie, it kind of seems like it could be interesting, and then as it goes along, you realize that nothing is really happening. That the entire film just sort of feels like there's no change, there's nothing interesting going on. The entire film is so bland, uninteresting, and messy to the point that you can't even be entertained by it. Because every single scene, I honestly didn't care what was going on. The film felt like it was 10 hours long, and it was a, had about a 2 hour runtime. It's like the shortest of the, all of the Pirates films, yet it felt like the longest one because everything in it was just so uninteresting. Especially the characters. The actors throughout just seemed really bored with the roles, especially... Johnny Depp because at this point he's overplayed the Jack Sparrow role and it's still a role that exists that's fun but to see it again and again on screen it sort of feels like they're beating a dead horse at this point and seeing him on screen he just really lacked energy he just didn't seem all that interested in it and so did everyone else in the cast everyone in this film just seemed so bored with what was going on they weren't entertained they were just pretty much doing it for a paycheck either that or they were overcooking it by a lot and because of that because the actors are so uninterested they make for really bland characters but I can't really blame the actors because really there's barely any development given to these characters, and the development that is there is very weak. The, the characters don't go through any change, they have incredibly weak personalities, They just the dialogue with them is absolutely awful, and overall it just leads to a film that I was overall just bored in. Even one of the weaker films, like On Stranger Tides, has still had a lot of entertaining scenes, even though it did have a lot of boring scenes. This one, I was practically just bored throughout, so that by the last point in the film, I was just begging for it to be over, because I just didn't really care about anything that was going on. But another thing that has made the Pirates film so fun is the feeling of adventure. The feeling that going from plot, plot point A to plot point B would take a giant journey. That many people would die, that they'd fight off lots of creatures, that crazy things would happen. That's always what's made these movies fun. The fact that always just crazy, absurd things were happening. I mean, the first one didn't, honestly, didn't have too many things that were crazy or insane, but they still had this awesome world with a great sense of adventure. And this one... The sense of adventure is barely there because, again, goes back to the characters, goes back to the actors, none of them seem interested. They don't seem to care all that much about where they're going, despite the fact that their lives are on the line. They're just like, yeah, we're going here to get this to kill them. And it just doesn't, you just feel a lack of adventure. You don't feel a giant scope. You don't feel that tons of things are happening, that it's really fun, just simply by the fact that it doesn't supply something that each and every other installment of the franchise franchise has put and is part of the reason it's so entertaining. And also the jokes in this film were just awful. Not a single one was funny and they would always pause everything in the movie just to have a joke there. And each and every single joke was just cringeworthy. It wasn't funny at all. No one in my theater laughed. Everyone was dead quiet and then they wait afterwards for like three seconds for the audience to laugh and when no one's laughing it's like watching a sitcom without the laugh tracks. It's just awkward and 
weird and it just doesn't feel right. And that also applies to a lot of the other dialogue in this movie. Because if it's not awkward or weird, it's just boring, uninteresting, and especially cliched. A lot of the dialogue in this film is dialogue you have heard before in other films that were just taken out and said in a different way. Now something that this film does supply that the other ones did is some really cool looking sets and a really well built world. Now the world, they sort of just stole from the other movies so that doesn't really count, but you have to admit that there is a lot of effort put into making a film look visually stunning and this one does it. There's a lot, of, there's a great aesthetic, there's a lot of great sets, a lot of just amazing world building. You get the sense of this pirate's world even though it was bogged down by the fact that I didn't care about anything in it. It was still cool to return to this world and the cinematography was very good but honestly at the end of the day that doesn't really matter when it comes down to the basis of a film. It's story. And when a story's film is uninteresting, it basically just ruins the rest of the film. And it doesn't help when you have actors that don't care, a, real, a lot of really unfunny jokes, or just some awfully written dialogue. And for those reasons, I will give Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, a 3.5 out of 10. Alright, that concludes my review for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. What are your thoughts on this film or the franchise? Comment in the comment section below, and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been... The Clever Critics. Goodbye.